All right, folks. Now this is a surprise. I thought we're getting the common test like later in January. We're getting it now. So let's take a look at the new Chinese rocket heavy tanks in patch 1.19.1, as well as the three hidden vehicles from the super test, the Chinese non-rocket heavy tank based off of the tier seven, the German tank destroyer at tier nine, and the first Japanese tank destroyer. But this thing is so stupid. So after the holidays, the devs thought the derp gun is kind of toxic. So they actually removed the derp guns from the tier 9 and tier 10 version of the normal Chinese rocket heavy tanks. But to get to it, you have to go through the Type 58, researching the engine, so about 56,000 XP, to the BZ-58, and one and a half million of credits. Research everything, but... Let's take a look. So you have to research. Well, you don't have to research the tracks to mount this stuff. So that's good. It's not highlighted. So that's nice. Uh, let's take a preview. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's like a gigantic IS turret with an 85 millimeter. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's somewhat aerodynamic. I could give it that, but... There are only like three charges of the rocket booster on tier 7, moving up to 4 at tier 8, and 5 at tier 9, and finally 6 at tier 10. So they're all the same, about 10 seconds of boost and 5 seconds of cooldown. So, okay, but this turret looks hideous. <laughs> so base armor on the stock turret is... Let's see... Uh, 155 rounded to 195, 200 or so. Mantlet is about 200. Commander Cupola is only 80. So it's all right at tier seven, but that is still the stock turret. Yeah, that is still the stock turret. Uh, 85 millimeter is not the greatest, but it'll work, I guess. So I think you don't have to research the top turret to mount the top gun, which is nice, but. Uh, I think the research path is likely, if you want to mount the whole stuff, I think you need the track still. But let's take a comparison. Yeah, let's see if I can mix and match all the stuff. So without selecting top uh, configuration, let's do Vince first. I think Vince will be best. Rammer, obviously. And you kind of put a vertical stabilizer at tier 7 for now, so I think... Maybe it's not a derp gun, so maybe enhanced gun lane drive or turbocharger. Maybe turbocharger. So let's see if you could put modules on top. You could. Wow. You don't need the. Oh, you can only put so much with the equipment. So if you want to research the turret, you could, but you cannot put the 100 millimeter. It weighs uh, about half a ton more or so. Yeah, about half a ton. And less DPM, worse accuracy. Oh no, but you get more pin. Wow, that is uh that is no bueno. That is not that good. Radio 40 compared to 100, so upgrade the radio to save yourself some weight. But still, engine weighs. Wow, the top engine weighs the least. Surprisingly, you still have to research the tracks to get the gun. If you want the equipments. Why is the top gun so suck? Oh, alright, so that is probably the upgrade path, but yeah, you have to research the tracks to mount the gun with equipments. But overall, let's see how good the top turret is. Alright, a lot more streamlined. And let's see. It is 220 at the front, so a lot better than 200, but it's still flat. Yeah, it is pretty flat, so that will go through, but yeah, it has 10 degrees of gun depression, so it will be something like this. So about, it's still 220. <laughs> Alright, I don't think it's as good as the T-29's turret, but it will do, it will still do. There is a commander cupola lip, and a loader cupola, not really, 
75 millimeter I'm using a 120 millimeter caliber with about 200 millimeters of pin if you're hitting only 35 millimeters then yeah you'll overmatch the roof of the of the turret but hall front 70 about 200 millimeter which is not bad for a tier 7 and they reuse this same hull for the tier 9 special tank the BZ58-2 which we'll take a look later on but lower plate is huge 75 millimeters there's track is there space armor nope no space armor just 30 to 70 Ugh, 30 well, where the hell was it 30 I saw a sliver wow there's a 30 is that the roof of the hall that's the roof of the hall that is dirty so you could get shot trapped into the the hall roof but side armor is only 70 so not the craziest yeah not the craziest you have 20 millimeter of tracks but don't really side scrape with this thing it's like with the americans mostly about 75 72 or so three inches uh, let's see top gun is a 100 millimeter you have worse accuracy worse dpm longer aim time too but you have more pen <laughs> so i mean that is the same pen as the t29s 105 but still ah oh, they nerfed the t29 so bad they already know so they they already go with the the nerf stats practically for this vehicle but overall yeah it's okay we have to wait for tanks.gg to be updated with the soft stats to take a look at dispersion and terrain resistance but let's see top modules uh well at least it's a little bit faster in terms of horsepower per time ratio than the 176 so i've already played a lot of that stupid vehicle <laughs> with the derp gun but this thing does not get a derp so that's unfortunate about 13.6 horsepower per time ratio with all the stuff without equipments so yeah it's still okay all right moving on to the tier 8 from the tech tree let's take a look so research the engines to get to the tier 8 the bz166 with the ribbed upper plate so about 96,000 100,000 xp after we research everything and cost about 2.7 million credits all right so you already get the fully upgraded gun there's no derp gun especially from super test so nothing to be upset about uh you should research the radio already from or like from other tank line that's good but all the other stuff needs to be upgraded uh purchase without crew all right let's take a look so with this thing ribbed for your pleasure uh upper plate is yeah funky looking that's a stock turret uh you could mount the same radio so if you already have it mount the same radio turret is weighs less so that's good with a little bit more view range but 350 is crap like i already mentioned from the super test so you can mount this stuff without worrying about the tracks getting the tracks first so you can actually mount the top radio the top turret the top engine without worrying about the weight putting on equipment so researching the track the f the least or re the last if you want but that's good so let's do the armor preview of the stock turret so stock turret let's see it's 100 or 270 at the front Ooh. <laughs> wow the stock turret is i think it might be better than the actual top turret 140 at the hull front to about 226 ribbed so pretty nice but you had the hull roof of 30 lower plate is about 100 so yeah still about the same fancy shape as somewhat of a chieftain design with the driver in the middle uh reclined position but yeah the stock turret looks a lot better than the upgraded turret namely because of the lack of a commander cupola but with the upgraded turret 
you get a weak spot. <laughs> you actually get two weak spots. Oh no. So with the upgraded turret, yeah, you get a commander cupola weak spot that is pretty prominent. A lot more prominent than the WZ 111s. And the loader cupola. Oof. Lower play is the same, obviously. Blah, blah, blah. The front of the turret is 570. <laughs> Uh, cheeks are 270-ish to 80-ish. It's well sloped. And the bottom of the cheeks are 260-ish. You could get shock trapped with the roundedness of the bottom of the turret. But yeah, you get weak spots. But you do get more DPM out of it. Better accuracy or better aim time. More health, obviously. Is the view range the same? Or more view range, that's nice, but yeah, you get a weak spot. That is unfortunate. I mean, the stock turret is so much better with the lack of weak spot. It's not as thick, but 270 is just as good as like 300, right? Yeah, it's just as good, but you have less of everything else. Less DPM, less aim time, or more aim time, less health. Uh, that is, uh, is kind of awkward when you think about it. It's like with the Sherman Jumbo. So, you could use the stock turret, which is better than the upgraded turret, but you don't have as much view range, or DPM for that matter, so that is the, the lopsidedness of it, but at least it weighs less. It weighs less <laughs> than the stock turret too. Alright, research the engine to get to everything else, but well, let me quickly take a look at horsepower time ratio. I think this was faster than... The 176, the BZ 176. So we have upgrade the engine, upgrade the tracks, upgrade the turret, might as well. And radio. About 14.5 horsepower per time ratio. So a lot faster in terms of revving up speed compared to the 176. But the armor is not as reliable as the 176. <laughs> this thing is so stupid. <laughs> Especially with the derp gun. It is so dumb. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the tier 9, the BZ-68. It costs about 170,000 XP. Which is... Eh, tier 9. A little bit more expensive because you don't have as much modules to worry about, but... 3.7 million credits. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, about the same upgrade. So you're already getting the top gun, the 130. And unfortunately, they remove the derp gun. Yep, you heard it here, folks. They removed the derp. Well, the derp is not as good on the super test version of this vehicle. So back then, we had a 152 and 130. So they removed the 152 derp with only 50 millimeters of pin <laughs> and 210 for the gold shell. Wow, this derp suck! Well, it's a lower caliber compared to the 160 on the 176, but yeah, the Alpha sucks compared to the 800 Alpha. 20 millimeter less pen for the gold high explosive. Uh, it gets better accuracy though. A little bit better aim time, but still. Yeah, they removed it from the actual tier 9 because how toxic this thing is. <laughs> How toxic of a gun this thing is. I played it. I mean, it's it's a KV-2 without being shot at into your turret. Because you have armor, <laughs> practically. I thought it was 230. It's 225. Fine. It's, but it's still better than 210. But, yeah, not as good accuracy. Not as good aim time as the tier 9. It doesn't matter. They removed the gun anyways. Unfortunate. Alright, let's see. Top turret weighs a little bit more. So you have to get the top turret if you want. Engine weighs more. So you might need to research the tracks. Let's do the quick comparison preview just to be sure. So BZ68. Uh, uh, let's put all the equipments first. Rammer, vents, yada yada. Maybe vertical stabilizer at this point. Alright, let's see. With the modules, nope. You could have equipments and also put the top turret and the top engine. Both together too. So without researching the tracks. So that's nice. You have to research the track last. But if you want the terrain resistance or all traverse, then 
probably do it soon, but still, that's nice. You don't have to worry about that stuff. Alright. So, let's see the armor. Stock turret is ugh, flat. With 280 at the front. Oof. Uh, Commander Cupola is still there, but it's not as prominent as the tier 8. 280 at the front. Hall front is 250 ish, 120. So it's like with the, uh, the 131. Uh, not the 131. What the hell am I talking about? The 112. 113. There we go. That's the one. <laughs> 131. That's the light tank. So stock turret, flat, 280. It will bounce unless they're spamming gold, then you're like a E100 practically, so yeah, stock turret is alright, but it's not as good as a stock turret on the tier 8. So moving to the upgraded turret, well, still having a commander cupola, but a little bit smaller? A little bit smaller-ish. Well, if you're gun depressed, then that's a big plus, but it's now sloped. 280 sloped, so about 320, so a lot better. Yeah, it's angled now. But, mm, if you're gun depressed, then that cupola should not be a big of a problem. Not really. Yeah, you should you should gun depress most of the time. Upper play is still decent at tier 9, I guess. But this thing is a little bit more mobile. So you play this thing like a mix of a T10 or IS-8 with something of a IS-7. Designs. There are side skirts, so that's nice. It's 110. Side skirt B is not half bad. But you have to worry about the only parts that are only 40 millimeter. So there is a strip of weak armor underneath everything. So it is 110, uh, slightly above the tracks, but only 40 right here. So side scraping is not half bad. But yeah, the sock turret is kind of kind of mm, debatable, sucky. So upgrading everything. You don't worry about the gun, you don't worry about the tracks, you get everything out of this stuff. Uh, still, long aim time, accuracy is wonky, but you have about 12.8 horsepower per time ratio. Not as fast to rev up as a tier 8, but you have a little bit more reliable armor, supposedly. Supposedly. But, yeah, it's okay. They removed the derp gun. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, the, the derp gun is what makes this vehicle toxic. Like, with 230-ish millimeters of pin, that is pretty, pretty <laughs> nasty. 55,000 XP for the top engine to get to the tier 10. And the tier 10 costs a little bit more than the usual. The usual is about 200,000 XP. So, because of the lack of equipment or lack of uh, modules to research, you get more expensive... Uh, research. So theoretically, for the Chinese heavy tanks, I highly recommend you get blueprints because they don't have that many modules. Therefore, it costs a lot more to research the next up tier vehicle. So therefore, blueprints are more valuable. So try to get blueprints for your vehicles on the Chinese heavy tanks, but remove the derp gun. <laughs> what was the derp gun? Was it like 180? So BZ-75, 180, <laughs> 225 millimeters of pin, 1000 alpha, better accuracy or aim time than the tier 8, obviously, but if you manage the pin with standard high explosive, it's 1600 damage. <laughs> this is a stupid gun. So yeah, they removed it. They removed the, the, <laughs> the meme. So you can only play with the 152, which is still a high caliber for a heavy tank, but it's comparable to the 60 TP. And what other? Like the 705A? But yeah, you don't get it. <laughs> you don't get to play with the derp. So, all right, all right, fine. So modules are all fully upgraded. No worry about researching, like with IS-4 originally. Let's see how good the armor is. It looks like a WZ-ish of a pike hull, but... 200 millimeters to about 300 millimeters effective, which is pretty good. Uh, lower play is the weak spot, about 220, which is still not half bad, but that is obviously the weak spots. Same goes with this little strip of triangle. All right, Commander Cupola. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Commander Cupola, Loader Cupola, it's only 160. God, this turret is lopsided. 200 on top of the gun. It's a, it's a flat ridge. I mean, it is thick for the cheeks, so you have to. You have to gun depress. Even still, you're getting the same weak spot. Oh, this is, um... Nah. Unfortunate. 110 for the sides with side skirts. I saw a strip. Yep, there are side skirts. Shielding of 30 millimeters. So, good at side scraping, but yeah, the cupola is. It's awkward. <laughs> well, then again, if it doesn't have a cupola, if it has a derp gun, then. Yeah, you're, you're having the same situation of the 176 at tier 10, which is not great. <laughs> But it punches hard. Well, not really for a 152. It only punched 650. Usually it's about 750, but okay. Well, mobility wise, it's still 13 ish horsepower per turn ratio, so. Oh, that's disappointing. Why does all the tier 10 suck? Oh my gosh. It seems like the best one is likely the. The tier 7? <laughs> or, the, or the tier 8? You don't get the derp at high tier. You also get the weak spots too. Then again, you get all the all of them have weak spots. Not as small as the 176 from initial impression. Not as small as this. No way near as small as this commander cupola or this loader cupola. No. So that is unfortunate. <laughs> It seems like the most fun you can get out of the rocket tanks is getting the premium one. And based off of the lack of derp guns from Wargaming Decision, I'm highly doubting they're going to sell this thing, like commonly, as the Vipera or as maybe... Well, what's the other new... The, the Char Future Project... No, the Char Model 75? No. This thing is way more controversial. Like with the EPR, so rare, Wargaming rarely sells uh, controversial vehicles. So I'm guessing this is becoming a controversial one. So yeah, they're not going to sell the EPR anytime soon, I think. But let's take a look at the hidden vehicles and we'll finish wrapping up this long ass video. But BZ58-2, the tier 9 special. Ah, here we go. That is a very big indicator of a, you know... Battle Pass tank. <laughs> Free standard large repair kit. That's a Battle Pass tank. That's a high confirmation. <laughs> Stolen um 50 TP's turret onto the tier 7 chassis and you get this thing. Alright, it doesn't have the rockets replaced by a bunch of toolboxes in the back, but... Alright. <laughs> it is the 50... Well... Thinking back on it, the Commander Cupola and the Loader Cupola are about the same size as the actual rocket heavy tanks, so nothing really to complain, but hull armor is 70 at the hull front, so it's good at, well, 180 millimeter effective, but it's good at tier 7, doesn't really cut it at tier 9, right? So it's like a... Lorraine 50T, especially lower plate is huge. So you have to hold down. You have to hold down with this thing. Like really hold down. But it has a 130? Yep, 130 with that alpha. So it's like a 50 TP, but it's a battle pass tank. And with the trajectory of what Wargaming does with battle pass, you're likely having to buy like at least two chapters or one whole season just to get enough tokens for two of them but eh, only 13 horsepower per time ratio blah blah 70 at the whole front they really have to improve the upper plate armor it's from a tier 7 so blah I mean it's a 50 TP turret on a tier 7 chassis yeah it's okay all right moving on to a little bit more interesting the Panzer Kampfwagen Project 07 HK uh, probably under influence of Swedish S tanks, West Germany developed a project named 07 HK. Uh, took the gun outside, suspension allowed the vehicle to hydropneumatically suspend or propulsion thing stuff. Yep. Uh, 
crew capsule and camera for better view range. No prototypes were built. So the most important thing is, is that a hitbox? That's a very big important thing. Um, that's not a hitbox, thank god. <laughs> Otherwise it negates the whole sloping of the armor. But we already mentioned the little lip for the commander com uh, compartment. So it's not really a cupola, but it's a commander compartment and it's 25 millimeter. It's not great. <laughs> but this gun can move up and down without the moving of the hull. So unlike the actual S tank, it's more like the UDES 03s, upper plate 45. So if you angle it, yeah, you can bounce a few shots. But that that lip right there, that is the weak spot. Lower plate is 190. <laughs> What? I thought it was like 30. <laughs> 190 will win. <laughs> That's a troll. All right. I mean, that will save you from light tanks shooting at your lower plate, which is, I mean, a lot better than the UDS, but that is surprising. 190. Hall sides, 30, yada, yada. But upper plate is 45. Why don't you put the 190 onto the upper plate? That would be great. No, you put only 45 with the angling. So the downside to this vehicle is it gets less DPM in actual reverse siege mode compared to the, well, it's similar to the Kuhn's Panzer practically. So you get less DPM, but better accuracy, better aim time. So it's like with the Kuhn's Panzer, but uh, view range sucks. You're supposed to get better view range with the camera system. Oh crap, it has 350 meters of view range. That sucks. Camo is not half bad, but... Eh, alright. <laughs> I wonder if you get hit in the in the crevice, does it count? So is it like the Death Star where you have the little trench? Yep. If you get suddenly like missed from here for some reason, you don't get hit. Eh, that's nice. <laughs> so, alright, fine. Eh, it's okay. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a, no, it's not, it's not a battle pass tank yet, for now. So, what well, that really confirms the BZ58-2 as the battle pass tank. And finally, the tier 8 Japanese premium first tank destroyer, the Hoto. Um, it's practically a little Ferdinand or Yak Tiger at tier 8, which is cute. Looks like the same size as a little bit longer of a Lorraine artillery from tier 7, but it has a lot of armor, 200 at the front, so comparable to the Ferdinand, a little bit, not really well sloped, I guess, well, it's still 200, but okay, it's like the Ferdinand. <laughs> Upper plate is only 100. Oh no. I thought this was also 200. That would be great. No, it's only 100. To 170 ish, 150 ish millimeters effective. Lower plate is 100. Don't shoot the cheeks. The cheeks is well sloped backwards. Oh, that is unfortunate. So it's not as crazy as the score I gave it. I thought it was 200 at the whole front, which is like a E100's level of armor. No, it's only 100 at the whole front. <laughs> Matlet, 215. The gun is very comparable to the German gun. It's a 127 compared to the 128s, but that's alright still. It's a premium tank, so don't think this is as crazy as with that much armor at the hull front, but look at the welding. Yeah, that makes you think it's like with the E100, like 200mm. Nope, it's only 100 Oh, unfortunate, but it's alright. Um, it punch hard. The downside to this thing is it doesn't get a gold shell. That's why that's what I remember from the super test. Uh, let's see. It gets a uh, crappy more alpha but less pin gold shell. So, yep, thirty five millimeter less penetration, but seventy more alpha, boosting up to about two thousand nine hundred. Ah. Uh, it will struggle against tier 10s, but you already saw how well the 230 millimeters of pin does for the 176. So it's not half bad, but you have to wait. You have to aim for weak spots. Yeah, you cannot just randomly shoot. Expect to pin. So 
There you go, folks. All the hidden vehicles in this patch, as well as the Chinese rocket heavy tanks. So, this thing is a piece of work. After like two weeks or so of holiday ops, they took a look at the data sheet. This thing is pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad for the game in terms of the derp gun. It's... Uh, it's stupid. <laughs> That's what it is. You slap somebody for freaking... Sometimes 1000 alpha roll if you get lucky or 900 alpha roll onto a tier 10 when they expose their tracks or expose their lower plate Freaking ridiculous, but then again, it's mostly useless against like Fast maneuverable tier 10s like a leper one it will out, it will outspot this thing and It will just chew this thing up. It's not that fast, but compared to a tier 6. Holy crap <laughs> Blasting Sherman tanks and TOGs. Well, not really TOG. TOGs have perfect matchmaking. Like T-150s, KV-2s. <laughs> Eat them all up. Even tier 7s. Like, with 225 millimeters of pin. That is ridiculous. <laughs> so dumb. But there you go, folks. All the hidden vehicles and the new Chinese rocket heavy tanks. There are no new 3D skins. I can finally do the 3D skin review since I have the garage and the free camera doesn't bug out. Because it's the common test, not the actual holiday garage. So I'll do that next. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.